<laughs> right. You know, so it's hidden just in case when I die, you know, y'all mm-hmm. got to search for it. <laughs> so you're going to have to. Where the hell is that Evan Williams put? Yeah, that- <sighs> Damn, Q. Baby, you did that. Yo, 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 we back in the building, man. You already know what it is. Everybody loves BBW. That's beards, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Whole gang is in the building, man. I got my man, Angry Principal, off camera. What's up? Got my man, Bo, holding it down. I'll show you. And, of course, man, it's your boy, Q Lewis, holding it down live from the 48205, man. All right, let's get to it, dog. Evan Williams, all right? Everybody know me, know that I'm a I'm an Evan Williams dude, bro. Now, I ain't never had this one, never even heard of it, never even knew it exists. I usually got the black label or the white label. That's it. Or sometimes that other one. I think it's like special select reserve or something. Anyway, but this is a different one. Uh, age 12 years. All right. And it's a one on one. So this is more than the white label that I normally have. Also, uh, there's an interesting story to this, too. So I'm going to let Angry Principal fill us in on uh, the Evan Williams 12 year. So this particular bottle can only be bought in, I know of only two places. I got this bottle at the Evan Williams experience down in Louisville. Gotcha. Cool. Um, they had a set of them behind the bar Mm -hmm. and you had to literally ask for it. Right. To have a chance at getting it. Gotcha. So I asked and I saw, I saw a guy in front of me ask for it. Yeah. And I saw a red label. I had never seen a red label. Never. (laughs) And so I said, well, what is that? He said, oh, you can only buy this here or in Japan. Yeah. Japan. Literally an import. So this, this label, this red label can be bought in Japan, Mm -hmm. um, but not here in the States only at the, go I just happened to see somebody ask for it, and then yeah. I asked for it. So basically, if you don't know what this is, you're not even going to know yeah. that. Right. Yeah. This yeah. is something you, you have to get from Japan. Yeah. Okay. Have, so. Oh, we fancy this week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> from Kentucky to Japan. All right, let's, let's do it. Know, we in Spain? Where right. We right. We went to Spain. Yeah. Uh, we went to Kentucky yeah. by way of yeah. Canada. <laughs> so no, no cork on this. No so cork. Yeah. Nice twist up. Okay. You can hear that. <laughs> Can't hear that. <laughs> you know, Evan Williams, you know they good for the twist off. Yeah, in Spain, y'all got to see the DYC. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't seen the DYC, make sure you check out that episode, all right? Yeah. <laughs> Spanish import. Oh, shit. That shit came off fast. <laughs> <laughs> came off fast, the DYC. <laughs> Crazy, man. Y'all out of control. Hmm. Hold on. Okay, it's not a. Uh, it don't smell like the well, at least not the bottom and bond. It kind of smell like the black label a little. I get cinnamon. It's something different. <laughs> Seriously, oh, is that cinnamon? I don't think so. Man, just yeah, I'm getting cocoa. It's something else though. I get you on yeah, that. It's though. something. It's that's something else. About it. A little char. Definitely more char than you get out the the white label. Either yeah, either one. Maybe even some. Oh, okay, I, I see where you might be getting a little cinnamon. I almost, I almost like smell some licorice too. Like I don't know what's going on here. I taste licorice. You I taste like licorice. Yeah. I smell yeah. it. I man. taste it. All right, let's see what it's talking about. Don't man. smell it. A lot of oak. That that wood. Who? Cool. That wood taste cool. is in there. Yeah, it is. Whoa, hold on, cuz. All right, that's doing something. That went up my uh, yeah. That went up my sinus cavity. <laughs> Definitely one on one. Extremely long legs. Yeah. This is this is it's actually pretty good. Yeah, the legs I've been long doing bail, boy. This is actually pretty good. So I feel like because I, I smelled I smell like something like licorice and a little bit of the classic, you know, kind of caramel that you get off of the, the hundred proof. I think the licorice smell and taste is what's kind of making it a little bit different. Nice little Nice bite at the end, but not a long finish, though. So it's a, it's a nice bite. I still kind of got it underneath my tongue a little bit, but, like, the finish isn't – it's not lingering. That spice is sitting on the tip of my tongue. Yeah, it's on the corners for mine. The sides of my tongue. Yeah, the sides. Yeah. No, I like it. I like it. Especially when you're talking – well, I guess when, when I'm talking about it, it's probably a biased opinion because, like, I, I honestly haven't had an Evan Williams expression that I didn't – that I didn't like, so – I'm glad that I, I didn't get uh, disappointed. Um, do I do I feel like is 
I feel like it could have been a hundred proof. Like the, I guess that one that that kind of one degree doesn't really make a difference. So it's not it's not a a, a, a huge bite, but it, it does give you a, a little bit more snap than a hundred proof does. I like it though. I like it. Yeah, I, it, it's. Yeah. You can tell it's been aged. Yeah, you, yeah, that's that that's wood one thing. taste in there makes you know that it, it had some time to sit for sure. Uh, this is very very good to me. Yeah, I'm I like enjoying it. this. Oh, uh, I guess the the question on that too though, like what's the what's the price point on this? I'm pretty sure I spent one twenty. Oh, okay, all right. So not your typical Evan Williams. <laughs> so that's why if you yeah. see where the bottle is, exactly. That's from three years ago. Yeah, mm-hmm. got gotcha. you. Not touching it that often. So. <laughs> This is good. I like it. I, it was weird because I was trying to figure out where it was going to be just because I've had so many of the other expressions. I think, yeah, I, I think this is dope. I, I think what we want to do, though, right, is we kind of want to kind of compare it, right, to uh, some of the other stuff. So one of the other classic Evan Williams, of course, is the Bottled and Bond, which is the uh, the 100 proof. Um I'm gonna tell you right now, though, I am a super fan of the the, the white label. Obviously, anybody who knows me know that. But uh, this is really giving it a run. So I want to I want to see though. You want to put a little water in there? Yeah. yeah let me. Uh, I, I'll wait before I kill that little. That I'm, last uh, in there. I'm not really a fan. You don't like it? I don't. <laughs> you don't dislike it, but you. Yeah. yeah, I'm just not really. Yeah. I can't get past like it tasting like cinnamon to me. I don't get it. I don't, get, though. I don't know. I get like, like a licorice though. Maybe that's what it is. The, yeah. And I'm confusing it. But yeah, I get like a licorice. I can't really. Like you said, because that cinnamon, that shit. You start thinking about fireball. <laughs> <laughs> like I just don't like it. You will never catch me drinking it's underwhelming. <laughs> um that 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 calms down that kind of flavor for me a little bit. Now I got the cinnamon. Mm-hmm. You said now you got it. Once I put the water in, now I have yeah. the cinnamon. You said you got it off rip. Yeah, it tastes like some uh oh, I like partially, that. that interesting. Partially chewed uh uh what you call it? uh what's the big red? Big red. red. Yeah. No, I'm not getting big red vibes. No, 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 not quite that strong. Like, okay, yeah, yeah. I like that, but it's, it's definitely I taste the cinnamon now. It's peppery though. Yeah. It's peppery. I, and, I think I would rather like a rye. I prefer it without the water. Without the water, I think, I think I'm another way. I think I, I prefer it with the water because uh-huh. it calms that 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 kind of taste down for me a bit, yeah. and I can pick up some of the other notes, you know, that y'all are talking about. I, I think I'm like, agree though. Yeah, I, I, well, well, you said it, it does it down, so you like it better. Mm-hmm. I think I think that the water brings out too much of the cinnamon that you was talking about. It doesn't for me. me. It, yeah. it, it it really does. That I didn't like, have no cinnamon at all because I didn't taste shit else, but <laughs> right. So I'm like, <laughs> that's mm. it. And then uh, that that kind of calms it down, so like yeah. everything settles. So okay. yeah, I mean, with the water for me, yeah, yeah, without, without the water, for I'm, me. yeah, I'm gonna yeah. say without for me though. Either one though, like I think it's a it's a decent complexity to it though. I mean, definitely when you're looking at it, comparing it to the other Everwins, which we getting ready to do now. So let's go ahead and get into that hundred proof. Mm-hmm. Go ahead down that real quick. Ah. <laughs> you see that, bro? Yeah. Absolutely worth it. Yeah, absolutely worth it though. Yeah, I like that though. So again, it's it's something something a little bit different uh in the same family that we're used to, but uh definitely a little bit something different to it. Now, I know they they say that it's uh being exported from Japan. I wonder what's what's different about the distilling process. So in Japan, over- they, they the, their whiskeys typically taste a little bit more like scotch. You know what I mean? A little bit more peaty. Definitely the you case. I mean? We had some yeah. uh, not too long ago. Mm-hmm. But this is distilled in Bardstown. Okay. So and they it's... ship it over to Japan to sell. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So it's, it's still made distilled. In Kentucky. It's okay. distilled, okay. made here. Got you. Here. Got you. Yeah, I'm telling you all about that that uh, Japanese bottle of buttons I have. Yeah. It, it, it's, it was distilled specifically for the Japanese okay. the bourbon you know, audience. So, so it's a little bit more peaty. Yeah. yeah so a different profile, mm-hmm. right? And that definitely is the case. It definitely does give you. Uh, Scotch vibes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, it's, one my, you, yeah. it's one of my favorites here. So, yeah. oh, Evan Williams, <laughs> Bob Bond is one of the. Now, see, that's that Carl. <laughs> that's that Carl because one yeah. of the backbone. You know what? You had a really good memory. You just thought of. You just relived the memory <laughs> hey, right there. That's that caramel, bro. I'm gonna tell you the caramel on this and the caramel on uh Buffalo Trace, man. It's just, you know, yeah, yeah. So this is much. Sweeter, 
No oak. That, that wood taste that is wood not is there gone. at all. Yeah, wood's gone. The spice is gone. Cinnamon's gone. Yeah, it's just, but this is this is my it's everyday mixer. Yeah, it's classic. So this is an everyday for me. So. Yeah, for sure. This you is know. yeah. You know what I kind of compare this to? This just a bit mm-hmm. chocolate milk because <laughs> it's got that caramel and, and and that cocoa a little bit. Yeah, right. <laughs> not 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 like I'm saying you're picking this up and I'm drinking the the chocolate milk. That we used to make out the tin can. Oh yeah, the quick. Yeah, yeah. You got, to, you got the pride and yes. yeah. I, yep. I can see that. Yep. I yep. can see that. Cause yeah. every now and then, if you don't put enough chocolate, yeah. In it, yep, yep. I got you. That's <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. I fuck with that. Do they still white, white label bringing all these memories? In? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the white because, label because it's a bourbon of the people. At twenty one dollars, anybody can yeah. pick you up a bottle of Evanwood. Anybody, you know? and, but and that will show you proof. how much. The prices have changed before COVID. This was seventeen. Yeah, so now it's twenty one. It was. Yeah, prices are going up. Um, so like I can't really compare it because like it's kind of like apples and oranges almost. Yeah, oh, yeah totally absolutely. different. Um, totally different. Which one would I prefer? Um, if if we like, it's just different. If we talk about every day, is the white label. If we're talking about busted out because I got a little promotion or something, then it's gonna be the twelve year. Like it's. It's really not a, a comparison, I guess, because it is two different, completely different taste profiles. The twelve year is basically a celebration. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And rarely do we have uh, bottles that have an age statement on them anymore. For mm-hmm. sure, right? So that's not Scotch. The fact that right. It's not Scotch, and it's mm-hmm. got an age statement. Mm-hmm. It's something that I, you can rarely find unless you're in two places that I right. know of. Yeah. So to me, um, this celebration bourbon, Evan Williams White Label. That's uh, that's your everyday. You yeah. go, that's a go to. Yeah, it's a go to. Absolutely. If you don't have that in your in your straight. on your bar, something wrong with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, you gotta feel like that's one of like you said, that's one of those stacks. That's a transition yeah. from Kanye. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. for sure. That you know, and Buffalo Trace. Right. Yeah, it's got if you don't add those two, then like you haven't really mm-hmm. experienced you haven't experienced bourbon the way you should have, I think. So let me ask y'all this. Mm-hmm. Does your bourbon palette does it ever change, right? Because I'm starting to feel four roses. More now is my favorite shifting away from Buffalo Trace, mm-hmm. more towards Fort Roses. Really? So, did, did, um, did, did y'all ever have a, a shift in well, your yeah, palate? Well, I guess you could say. Well, of it's, course. it's almost like a move. Mm, yeah. You know, what mm-hmm. you what are you craving? What you, yeah. 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 And we've been in this long enough, and we know the taste that we're kind of craving now. For mm-hmm. sure. So, well, yeah. I think we are getting to that point where we yeah, say, you know what? I'm in the mood for this today. Don't no, get me wrong, Buffalo before. Trace is still, it's right. still a blue blood for me, yeah, right? It's right. always going to be in my rotation. No doubt. But it's just typically lately, I've just been more on the Four Roses side yeah, than, right. than the Buffalo Trace. Yeah, I have been on my Four Roses kick too. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, you just in the mood? That's yeah. all. Mm-hmm. But I will tell you that I, I definitely know what you're talking about. And I've experienced that. Obviously, everyone knows from watching this, uh, this, uh, this podcast that I have started possibly leaning towards. Uh, rye whiskeys. Mm-hmm. I didn't used to like rye whiskey. <laughs> I love me some rye. So yeah. now I think that that is an example of my palate is changing um, because I there are some ryes that I think are you know completely great. Like I need to have those. So I'm gonna bring that Jack Daniels rye next time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll check it out next time. So yeah, I think yeah, I I, I have changed with that. Does Evan Williams have a rye? I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure they've made an expression of a rock. So, yeah. really, so now I gotta find yeah. it. <laughs> now I gotta find it because I'm a I'm an Evan Williams head. So do we want to? Uh, we made the comparison, but do we want to? We want to give it a, a, a rating? Or? We definitely need to. Okay. All right. We gonna do that. All right. So let's uh, let's go to commercial break real quick. You got the uh, preliminary analysis uh, and a little bit of comparison. So if you haven't had the uh, twelve year one on one, we kind of gave you what the difference is between that and the bottle and bond. So uh, we're going to go to commercial break, and when we get back, one to five Black Power Fist, man, we're going to see what everybody's going to give it. So uh, we'll be back in two and two. Not really two and two because the commercial only 30 seconds. Uh, but, uh, Willow, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> two and two. <laughs> right. You know what it is, man. Everybody loves BBW. Whole gang in the building, man. We're about to go to commercial break. See you on the other side. Visit the website right now, www.everybodylovesbbw. That's Beards, Bourbon, Whiskey, the podcast. And we're back. Thank you guys for hanging out through the commercial 
breaks, man. You already know what it is. Everybody loves BBW. That's beards, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Whole gang in the building, man. Got Angry Principal, Bo holding it down. And, of course, your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. So we back in the building, making a little comparison of the uh, bottom and buying Evan Williams and the 12-year uh, Evan Williams that is only available at the Evan Williams Experience uh, down in Louisville and, of course, in Japan. So they uh, took it all the way to Japan on us, right? So uh, Y'all ever been to Japan? I've never been to Japan. Nope. I feel like I might want to go to Japan, but kind of, I it's don't expensive. know. It's expensive. Yeah. yeah. I was yeah. only there for like three or four days when I was in Korea. Okay. So we, we took a little flight yeah. over there. It was dope, though. Yeah, yeah. I heard Japan is dope, though. Yeah. I, I guess there's a few places I need to go before uh, before I clock out of this boy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we go do the rating system real quick, man. One to five. This week, we're going to start with Bo. Uh, what you say, dog? Evan Williams, 12 year. What you want to give it? One so, to five. So the 12 year without the water. Mm-hmm. I give it two and a half. Mm-hmm. With the water, I'm at a solid three and a half, you know, with the water. It was, gotcha. like I said, I was able to experience some of those other flavors, you know, mm-hmm. and some of those other notes, you know, uh, in the bourbon. Uh, definitely, like, I've never seen it. You know, I saw a red label ever. I'm like, you know, right. I, when, when I got in, I looked at it twice. Like, what is this? You know? <laughs> exactly. so, I mean, so if I had the opportunity to buy it, I definitely would, because it would be dope to, to uh, you know, revisit it from, you know, from time to time. And, sure. you know, it'd be, it's another dope conversation piece for your bar. You know? No doubt. So, uh, yeah, two and a half without the water, three and a half with it. For sure. All right, Angry Principal, what you say, bro? Uh, I'm a solid three and a half. Okay. Even though the price point and how hard it is to get, it kind of should take away from it. Mm-hmm. For me, the taste, the fact it's a 12-year age statement on it. You can definitely taste it some age on it by how much mm-hmm. wood taste is in this. For sure. Uh, it's a solid three and a half for me. Okay. Um, like I said, this is a celebration bourbon. This is not something I'm pulling out all the time. <laughs> right. You know, so it's hidden just in case when I die, you know, y'all mm-hmm. got to search. Good. <laughs> so you gonna have to. Gonna Where have to the hell is that ever when you put it? Yeah, it's that kind of thing. So, uh, I, but I do like this a lot. Um, I like, I like, you know, of course I like the white label, but mm-hmm. it even makes me. Enjoy the Evan Williams label even more. Uh, this red label, I'm enjoying. This. Oh, that white label, I never leave it in bar. Keep that on deck, bro. Yeah. That's my go to for sure. <laughs> anyway, so I, I guess it's on me now. So we got uh, we got 3.5 uh, with the water, <laughs> 3.5, and then I got a, I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna say 3.5 as well. Um, surprisingly. Uh, I need mine without the water. I think the water to me kind of brings out the cinnamon that you was that you was talking about originally. Like I didn't really get that much cinnamon without the water, so I'm gonna need mine just kind of neat. Um, I think the the spice on it, the hug is a hundred, and it's like it's such a it's such a nice spin off of the bottle and bomb because it's, it's a completely separate taste profile. Like so, if you know Evan Williams bottle and bomb. You don't know the twelve year, so like it's it's really worth to try. the uh, The price point is a little bit higher, but I think that a lot of times you you have to pay for some you have to pay for some stuff. Like it, it happens. Um, it's not ridiculous. It's not like it's two hundred dollars or something. Um, but obviously, when you're talking about regular Evan Williams, is a is a big price jump from there. But the exclusivity of it, though, like you getting something that's only available in two places on Earth, like go ahead and pay a couple of dollars, especially when it's this good. But again, I have to agree. It's definitely celebration time. Right? <laughs> That's it. We're not about to be kicking it on Saturday night with yeah. this. Like, that you know one's going to be dusty for another reason. <laughs> right. 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 You know what I mean? Like, you thought I still had it in the bag. Yeah. yeah. Just, like, do not That's touch it. That's what I said. It was bag. Yeah. Now, this is the thing. I just seen plenty of bottles at this man's house. Mm-hmm. I ain't never <laughs> seen that bottle. That's a reason for I'm that. I'm kind of curious. Like, <laughs> where is he even keeping that? Like, right. Well, we'll never know. <laughs> that bottle might that bottle might be in like the front with him every it's day. Gonna, it's gonna be a treasure hunt when y'all decide to try. I mean, Lex doesn't take the good center of this spot. <laughs> no, the world may never know. May never may know. Never know. know. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, that's, we got three point fives across the board, dog. This is a this is a good addition uh, to anybody's bar. Even if you, I'm gonna tell you like this. Even if you're not a fan of the Evan Williams hundred uh, hundred proof or the black label or any other Evan Williams expression. This this is gonna be different. You said honey. I did say honey. <laughs> I, did. I caught that. I, <laughs> I tried to take mine too. Like I said honey. But anyway, so even if you don't like that one, 
I, I still suggest that if you get your hands on a bottle that's 12 year, you definitely need to try it out because it's, it's a completely different taste but profile. This is also kind of part of my little bit of a bourbon journey. Mm-hmm. You know, when I found it, I felt like I really found something mm-hmm. that was different that no one else is going to be able to get their hands on. Exactly. Because I've never seen anybody else with it. So never. I felt like I got found my little bit of a treasure. And I didn't know it existed. I, I <laughs> dip it off to the side. So that, that's sure. why I've been enjoying it. And I don't mind giving a higher price, even at the, pri- the price point. Mm-hmm. I honestly could care less because I'm enjoying the fact that there's a story behind it. It's only a spot you can get it is in yeah. Japan. And I actually, just happened to see a guy ask for it. Right. And that's why I asked for it. Exactly. Other than that, I wouldn't have had the bottle. And on top of all that, it actually tastes good. Yeah. So on top of all that. All right. So yeah. So um I would say make sure you get your hands on this, but uh it's gonna take a little, it's gonna take a little hunting to get to it. So uh, down at the Evan Williams Experience down in Louisville, or you gonna have to be in Japan somewhere all right, and grab this bottle. But the twelve years definitely a go. Three point fives across the board. I'm digging it. I still dig this hundred proof, which I'm finishing up right now. And we about to get out of here. So check us out next week. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And also hit that QR code so you can see what kind of merch we got. We got glasses. We got all kind of stuff, man. Hats, t-shirts. Everybody loves BBW, man. You already know what that is, all right? Whole gang is in the building. We about to get out of here. My man, Angry Principal, off camera. Drink what you like, how you like. Got my man, Bo, holding it down. Ross. <laughs> <laughs> say it, bro. Holla at me, man. I'll say. For real, man. You going to have the only bourbon podcast out here in these streets, dog. Let's talk what these numbers going to look like, bro. I'm trying to tell you. Phenomenal. It's your boy, Q Lewis, holding it down live for the 48205, man. <laughs> Peace out, dog.